Today we're taking a look at a sequel to a game we already took a look at. This is Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. If you recall our previous review, we were not too kind to Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, sadly. No. Well, these are ports. These are ports that have gone from PC to tablet. Yeah. They had to reflect all the good from the PC version and bring that over to the tablet, which is really tough to do. I can imagine, yes. There is an interface in this game that at first blush is very intimidating. You got a lot of icons lined up on the left side of the screen also along the bottom of the screen. Now, I found this game maybe because I had already spent time with Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, or maybe because the developers listened to some gripes that reviewers and players had of the previous game. I found this one to control a little better than the previous incarnation, but we must remember that this was a game that was designed for the PC yeah. for a mouse, which is a tiny little pixel of a click. Now we're using our fat fingers. Some, right. some people then, have even fatter fingers than me, well, okay. but I feel like my fingers are pretty fat playing this one. <laughs> But yes, like you said, this game is improved on, which is great. And one of the big improvements, really, is the fact that we don't have to sit through an hour-long tutorial yes. in the beginning of the game, which was so infuriating because yeah. you couldn't go through the game, you couldn't make it to the next step of the game without finishing the tutorial. And sometimes it almost felt like it was impossible to complete. I also really enjoyed the fact that there was three different game modes to jump into here. And there is a cinematic off the top of each one that had great voice acting, by the way. Do you know that Mark Mir is in this game? There That's you go. pretty awesome. Mr. Shepard himself. It shall be. What's interesting here is you're thrown in, you've got some fellow captives, and again, we could see that great Bioware root of stemmed dialogue and making decisions, and then also making decisions that matter later on in the game, or matter almost immediately, depending on how you play these things. And when you come up against these characters, you know you need to get something out of them, and how are you going to do that? <laughs> Well, a lot of the times you just end up being snarky. Yeah. And that's a lot of the script here. A lot of the script is just very sarcastic. But sometimes they don't want to be snarky. I know. It's like but that guy's are... got a sword. Do I really <laughs> want to say that to him? Do not be rash, my young friend. You may not like the result. This is not a usual tablet game, especially because the price itself is not your usual yeah. tablet game price. It and is. there are in-app purchases here as well. It does take away from my enjoyment of the game because seeing a game at this price, at $25, is crazy in the App Store, number one. And then to have in-app purchases as well to unlock other characters, and not cool. Is this all they this is the kind of game for people who are really invested in the role-playing games. They want to know what each weapon does. They want to know exactly what each character is equipped with. I feel that this enhanced edition is a cut above the previous Baldur's Gate, but I really wish they spent a lot more time enhancing the interface so I could know exactly what I was going to say to these guys who might otherwise want to kill me if I say the wrong thing. Marissa, what are you giving Baldur's Gate 2 enhanced edition? It gets a 6.5. I'm giving it a 7.